guys, welcome to SVB TV, and we're here for another watch along. It is the watch along to qualifying, I believe. Yeah, qualifying, because it is uh, a Friday format. We're back to a sprint race format. Yay, that everyone loves because we want more action. Why can't we just? I, f I, I, I prefer the old days. I just prefer the old ways. So, uh, but we got T home, my man. How you doing, my boy? Very excited for later today because I am going to the football match finally again, but that's not important right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely, man. But you should be buzzing with both your football and, and the uh, F1 right now. Like, oh, definitely. This morning's, practice, <laughs> this morning's practice session, right? Usually that would be a thing where every team closes up and closes together. No, let's put another 1.7 seconds under the fucking Ferrari, right? Mate, my Jesus team's Christ, still... Man. Yeah, my team's still sitting there thinking, what the fuck are we going to do with ourselves? Mate, um, no point asking Nico Rosberg, so he'll just sit there and moan. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, Mercedes is made a major upgrade expected for this weekend's Australian Grand Prix. Uh, <clears throat> no. So, um, could Mercedes F1 upgrade the side pods? So, I'm trying to find if they've got any upgrades ahead of Imola. Right, because like I've seen the 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 porpoising on that car. It's that that in each each of the pundits have said it's one of the and you can see, visibly see it. It's the worst porpoising car on the grid. How the hell have they managed to present a car that's got the worst porpoising standings possible? Like. With all the men and the women they've got there, with all the, the facilities, the time, the fact that eight time consecutive constructors should be also drivers, but co consecutive drivers world champions, like um, it's it's mind boggling how that they've seemed to create a car that's not so much as porpoising. I mean, for what the fourth the the, the Ferraris is. You can see the Ferrari visibly does it, but it handles it so well because of the way it's built, right? And it's so, and it's and it's not affecting the cornering, the braking. Mercedes is so bad that it becomes an unstable car, right? Absolutely unstable. Uh, big up to everyone that's watching on Facebook and Twitch right now. Uh, really do um, uh, appreciate you all. Big up. Say so in the Facebook comments. Big up. Uh, if you can also sign. You will also find us on YouTube as well. If you could give us a like, subscribe on YouTube, it'd be greatly appreciated. We're literally nine away from 100, so please smash that subscribe button. But try and make sure you don't break it because we need it for the we need it for the next hundred. Uh, <laughs> but like, what are you expecting this session? Because Ferrari just look like in a league of their own at the minute, and people saying this was supposed to bring up the like level of the competition. <laughs> It doesn't look like it's doing it, to be honest, because <laughs> not even Red Bull are getting close. Uh, I mean, it's 30 minutes, right? It's, it's, the, what's that? 30 minutes, isn't it? It's qualifying. Yeah, but it's sprint qualifying, isn't it? Oh, no, wait, no, no, no wait, that's, never mind. I'm that's, stupid, that's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Mate. I'm that's stupid, never mind. Nice. Well, it's sprint race, sprint qualifying, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, yeah, that's 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 no, that's an hour as well. That's oh, an hour. An hour. Yeah, it's a hundred oh. kilometers. It's a hundred kilometer oh. race. So whatever is closest to a hundred kilometers plus so place, basically they go to whatever whatever lap is uh goes over the hundred. Yeah, whatever lap goes to over a hundred kilometers, and maybe add a lap on that, and then that's it, I believe. Yeah, well, for this session, I'm expecting another Ferrari dominance, to be honest, because mm -hmm. we've just looked strong in every session this season so far. I mean, just look in every single department. I've seen the way that car handles. It's such a beautiful yeah. car to drive, right? And like, and especially in these mixed conditions, I've shown also on the if you go to SVT TV's community post, is where we do our post for this channel as well, because uh, it it's obviously my channel still, and mm -hmm. we're at one point one eight k now. Woo. Uh, so yeah, like you, you, you 
see the weather. It's supposed to be wet this afternoon, or it should have just stopped raining now. So it might be a dry qualifying. They might have just squeeze a quite a dry qualifying. You never know. But you've also got um a dry sprint race that's predicting and a wet race. It's supposed to be a wet race. Ooh. Uh now I'd love to see the visor cam, by the way. That that looks epic. Uh and which I believe this is on the Williams, so you get to see it in probably full spray but behind so you barely see fuckle <laughs> you know what i mean like i think that's what every sort of person wants to see but um um by the way yeah, i found I, um i found upgrade news for the other cars yeah go on share it with um me. mercedes uh some swap some small arrow tweaks have been brought to the w13 for this weekend a turning fan has been added ahead of the side pod inlet designed to improve cooling efficiency uh the arrow shroud around the upper impact beam has been reprofiled mercedes says that it has been done to eliminate uh to eliminate small areas of separated airflow the edge of the diffuser the diffuser nearest the rear tire has a reduced curl designed to reduce airflow separation in that region they... it's a lot of airflow upgrades for mercedes really oh for fuck's sake the main the... problem everyone has specified to you motherfucker sorry the main problem everyone specified to you lot is the fact that let me put it this way uh you keep bouncing up and down it's like a children's the point, playground you can't control the car it's like sort mercedes have been <laughs> like sort the porpoise in out but if in you not notice the airflow isn't probably well i say airflow is always always important right but it's usually been more important last season with the barge boards and the aero and the aero on the front wing on the rear only rear wing. This season, it's more just about aero underneath the car. And yet you're doing about side pods. Well, by that point, half the air has gone past the fucking car and past the head rear of the fucking the, with the floor of your 3D floor, which is generates the downforce. So what? what uh, so unless it's reducing drag, there's no need for it. No. Like, your problem is it, your aero is so unstable because it's porpoising up and down. So it's scraping the floor every time it hits the ground, right? Which then lifts it back up again and then back down when you put up the air back because it gets the air back and then hits the floor again and uh, loses the air and then comes back up again, right? Because you lose the downfalls. That's your main problem. If you don't sort that out, you're fucking going nowhere. Right? Like, Messi's the Toto Wolf. Sort it the fuck out! It's like, they've totally misconceived what's the worst problems of this car. Surely, that bouncing up and down, if I'm a, if I'm Hamilton and I'm driving, I'm going like that, I'm like, yeah, this car ain't right. <laughs> Car, these cars aren't comfortable. I've sat in an F1 car. They ain't fucking comfortable. I'll tell you that. They weren't. I remember, like, they took me around Midland in 2006 and they had it on, they didn't have it on like jacks. They had it on full stood, stood eye beams where you could stand up and Ooh. get everything stripped and cleaned yeah. out. And that's what they were doing for the next race. And they let us jump in one. And I jumped in one. I'm like, how? Fucking hell. You got any padding in here? And I'm like, nope. <laughs> You might get a seat, but it's not exactly pad. It's not exactly like the fucking seat you'll sit in a you'll sit in a car with with like loads of um uh Chance. yeah, with loads of functions of massaging yeah. and heated seats and shit like yeah. that. Like perfect leather and everything like that. You don't get any of that shit. You'd probably just get tape as padding and that is it. Like yeah. so there is hot there aren't enough as it is, let alone having it bounce up and down and making your eyes. Right, like, mate, if it's a watch along, right? A watch along is where you see our reactions by watching it. I can't show you it, it's copyrighted by F1. If you can't understand that, mate, go find it somewhere else. Um, Patrick, it's is this year ah, showing? Come on, no, 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 Patrick, come on, look, look, look. You, I, people can call me a Hamilton fanboy, right? I am a Hamilton fanboy, right? Mm -hmm. But no matter what piece of machinery you're given, you still have to go out there and prove 
you're the best of the best. What you saw also last season is Lewis also struggling at the start of the season. But his first race, for example, we were four tenths slower than the than the red than the Red Bull, but we still managed to beat them. And it wasn't because of Bottas; it was because um, Hamilton could push the car to a limit that Bottas couldn't keep up, and only only Max could probably keep up with him. That's how much he would push the car. I've seen laps from Lewis Hamilton where the car, for example, 2018 Singapore. They were expected to finish fifth and sixth in that race. Their car looked throughout the whole weekend to be fifth and sixth. Then Hamilton pulled out the lap of his life, which is probably Jesus the God. best the best lap he will ever see him do. And if you go back and watch it, honestly, Patrick, if you watch on YouTube, 2018 um, Singapore, fastest lap, right? Uh, I think if you put... Um, Hamilton's fastest lap in Singapore in 2018. You will watch that lap over and over again. Not one bit of oversteer, understeer, no understeer, no oversteer, perfectly on the power every time. No wheel spin, no nothing. 24 corners, absolute perfection. And you won't get it anywhere else. Honestly, God, right? The session has started, by the way. The session has started. Um, I think if you put Max, Max is a very capable. I've never doubted that Max is a very, very talented driver. But there were so many times last season, what was proven to me of why I don't like Max Verstappen. Right? Whenever he, that he gets involved with anyone, it's always someone else's fault. Right? Mm -hmm. um, Silverstone, well, if you actually, if people, F1, if the real, if if you analyse that closely, every F1 pundit on the on the planet said that's a racing incident. And if you wanted to point at anyone, it was Max turning in even more into that corner, even though Lewis, he could see Lewis side by side with him because his front wing was level with his front wing. So if his, if his car is, and the rules state, if you're, alongside another driver going into a corner, you're entitled to a car which is space. That's written in the law. Right? So people saying that Hamilton should never have been there is bollocks. Right? He had perfectly rights to be there, and it was actually Hamilton who kept his steering wheel at the same angle. It was Max that turned in even more. Right? Uh, Italy. Right? Hamilton was shoved off in turn four and turn uh, 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 in lap one. Hamilton decided he was going to. Uh, Hamilton decided, well, if you're going to play that game, I'll do it back, and he did it back in the Retifilio. So to make sure he didn't get ahead, he did, decided to launch the curb, which he had done to Massa in 2017, and then launch himself or, uh, uh, and launch himself into Hamilton, nearly taking his head off if it weren't for the halo. Right. So by the way, Hamilton has just gone fast on a 127.2. It looks like the track looks very dry, so we might see dry tires by the end of this session. It's, Got a very good dry line in a minute. But um, so we will see times coming down, coming down, coming down through this session. Uh, Zhao's gone second fastest and Bartas has just gone faster than that. Uh, and actually, some teams are already going out on the softs. Wow. Carlos Ferrari. Sainz, the Ferrari, are just going for it now. They're gaining it on the softs already. It looks very dry, to be honest, mate. It looks does. It look does. Very dry. It does. So for me, I wouldn't uh, like... I. Uh, Especially the fact that you need to save the Inters for the race. I'm very surprised Mercedes didn't just go for it. Mm -hmm. always, that, that's the thing with Mercedes. They're too conservative. Remember, I mean, I, I, you remember, you remember Hungaroring? Right? Uh, they, chose yeah. the, they, thought, they chose the safe option rather than take the gamble, which everyone else did. And it well, cost, so. them, cost them another 10 points, which would have won them the championship. Right? Yeah, man. So... By the way, do you want me to continue the upgrades or? Uh, give it to us at the end of the next session. Yeah, I'm sure thing. Uh, because I'll just show the um. Right, live leader or luck by luck. I'm registered, aren't I? 
Looks like the drivers have been having a struggle around like turn ten or something like that, I think. <clears throat> I'm registered. Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sort that out later. But usually it works, doesn't it? Usually it works every time. Every time. Red flag. Oh, Red there's flag. a fire. A fire, fire for Ocon? Uh, I fire, think it's Ocon. No, Williams. It's a Williams. Oh. It's, oh, no. It's, it's Albon. Williams, uh, uh, Albon. 23. Albon. Oh, no. Oh, bang. There went the rear brakes. Jesus Christ. Bang, bang. Get out of there this car immediately. Get out of car immediately. Get out of car immediately, Albon. Red flag, red flag. Jesus we have a red Christ. Flag. We have a red flag because of probably debris in the fire. Yeah, it's destroyed this it's destroyed the wheel where the the wheel the, the hub. Like the, the, the wheel's barely hanging on now. I think he can't even break it. I think he's just completely no, he's lost the slow no, he's got front brake he's got front brakes, but the rear brakes are gone. So what he'll do is he'll just switch all it'll just switch front brake bias to to, so it comes yeah. out mostly out the front brakes bra bra rather than the rear, but it will have to. It will obviously that's the end of his session. He ain't uh, gonna repair that. That's the end of his session. So the TF will be starting at the back. Uh, no, the Albon will be starting at the back of the grid. He won't be getting back from that. That's Albon out. Albon is out of qualifying with a brake issue. That's something you can't repair just like that. Not in twelve minutes. Just went. It, uh... Yeah. Bang. That's a quick mechanical failure as well. It's only the first day of. I don't the... know why. Um. Um. Uh, I. I don't know why one. Uh, one guy on Facebook is getting angry. Uh, uh, probably because he can't watch the stream. That's why. What do you think I am? A streaming service? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I mean, I might be going before qualifying ends. Like, I think I'm going at like five by your time. So, qualifying probably won't be finished by then. See, yeah, it just went into flames. Mm -hmm. Right, so. You don't see that every day. <laughs> yeah, you don't see that every time. Uh, but, I mean, going back to the Max and Lewis thing, like I said, Max is a very talented driver. It's just, for me, the reason I've not come to him. Uh, how's the result at the moment? So, Albon's out of qualifying at the moment, mate. Uh, we still got 12 minutes to go. Uh Mercedes are proving that you can go on dry tyres. They're quickly just cleaning up what was left of that circuit. Oh, they're now time to join the conversation at hashtag Imola Grand Prix, not Emilia Ramagna Grand Prix. Are you taking the piss? <laughs> like, it's too long of a hashtag, isn't it? Actually, it's not Imola. It's Autodromo Enzo Itino Ferrari. Emiliano Romagna. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What's what's the actual full name of Monza called? You asked me there something, mate. Um, uh, wait. Uh, Monza 
it's a mistake. Hey, 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 don't, no, 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 it's not use Google. It's something, it's something like Autodrome or Nationale Monsters on this, something like that. Did you just use Google, didn't no, you? No, no, I was thinking, okay. mate, I was thinking, I swear. Okay. Something Autodrome, like that. Autodromo Nacional di Monza. Yeah, okay. Uh, Sochi is a Sochi Autodrome, but uh, without the O in the end. Uh. You see, like, this is why I did like a, a, a quiz the other day. I did the quiz and I looked at it and I thought, I can answer these piece of piss. Right. And then I gave it to like, um, to, and there are real, like, they're proper F1 fans. You know, Brevin John, he's a proper F1 fan. So yeah. is um, the Dirty Air podcast as well. But they were like, uh, I'm like, come on, man, seriously. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I just have that memory. This is this. I'd still go with them as well, for sure. Was that just on the F1 website or? What was that? The quiz was that like on the F1 website or? No, no, I I, I did a quiz back in uh, back at the end of the season. Oh, 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 that quiz, yeah, yeah, yeah. That took ages, though, to be honest. <laughs> then it was me thinking I could do a quiz in an hour on my charity thing. Of course oh, you God. couldn't. I needed more time than that. That should have been. <laughs> that should have came last on that list. That should have been last, to be honest. That quiz. But it was the last minute. We we had no space, so we just thought of, fuck it, do a quiz. We'll just do a quiz in the middle of it. You know what I mean? We had no space. It was kind yeah. of a dilemma. Well, something just exploding like that in an F1 car is scary, man. I mean, so much could go wrong with an ex with a little explosion like that. Um, yeah. Should we start saying now? It, yeah, it should be the start in the next two, three minutes or so. Due yeah. to, it's due to... Yeah, it just completely wins, man. My God. Luckily for Elbon, there's a sprint race, so he could get a few places at least. If the car is ready, of course. It's, do you know what? Actually, you were talking about football earlier. How is Hass doing? So, how's they doing so well so far, uh, mate? They're doing well so far. Um, um, oh, and that was caught right under uh, one of the tyres of the McLaren. But yeah, they're doing well so far. They came third in practice, to be honest. Um, but with uh, Magnussen, I believe. Yeah, Magnussen. Mick has sort of been outshadowed by Magnussen a little bit. He needs to start really testing him a bit more, to be honest. I'm a little bit disappointed in uh, Mick Schumacher this season so far. He needs to start proving himself. No wonder that Science has extended his deal. Because probably Ferrari don't think uh, Mick Schumacher's ready yet. Um, uh, he ain't. He's, he's not ready yet. He needs to prove himself a little bit more. Um, which is just... 
like Pete and anyone thinking he was just going to jump in a house and then start doing what his father did in the Jordan is just that yeah. stupid. But, um, Mick is talented, but he's he had not one. He had, well, he had that one race. He had, well, one qualifying session because the race he was out, he was out the race in the half a lap after yeah. just going over a rouge in um, on ninety one in that Jordan. Has is he started in a has that was in twenty twenty one at the back of the grid permanently by a second. So he was uh, by the second of the rest of the competition. So he had no chance of doing that. But if, like, and then Schumacher, obviously, his next race was in a Benetton. So you couldn't, yeah. So there you go. Uh, 17, 17 local time. So that is literally in a minute. So obviously they're an hour ahead of us. What do you, f um, I mean... Um, what do you think about the new sprint format? I mean, I've said it last season. I think it's not. It wasn't optimal last season, and because of, of course, the cars weren't that optimal of overtaking yet. But of course, this is the first sprint race of the season, so we'll have to see how it goes. But I think, I think it will be specific circuits. I, if they're going to do it for only specific Grand Prix, yeah, because I, I, I won't mind bringing in change if it's. As long as I, because tradition, I'm more of a traditionalist when it comes to F1. I like to traditional, like, um, sprint format. So, if they had like one race, and what would be nice in the game is if actually the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix would be a sprint race weekend and they include that oh, in yeah. the game, but um, and also you have the option whether to do it as a full race or just a normal sprint for or normal format, but yeah. Like if they did it for some Grand Prix and then like another Grand and then uh some of the Grand Prix most and the rest of the Grand Prix being a normal format, I wouldn't mind that at all. I mean either. So. Um but um <coughs> so green light, green light, rest the session resumed. Session uh, <laughs> Session resumed. Uh, and actually, something that's uh, you were talking about football earlier, something that is relevant yeah. between F1 and fo uh, football. Have you heard the latest news about Chelsea's foot uh, buying of Chelsea? Yeah, man. I mean, I was, I mean, I think it's a bit of a fleece rumor. I mean, I don't, yeah, think it's a wild it's... rumor. People just, I know people are gonna wind me up saying, How dare he? Like, uh, I was speaking this like, static this morning, like. Yeah. And he said he was dis like disappointed in Hamilton. It's like, mate, he's he's. If it was to do, if Abramovich wanted to sell the club at his own will, he wouldn't be interested. I think it's got to something to do with the fact that it's it's involving the what's gone on in Ukraine, and the sanctions and how that's affecting the fans. Like, but I uh, and I I I just don't feel that otherwise he'd be that interested. I wouldn't think he'd be interested to be honest. You know, yeah. And to I, be honest, like if unless it's a secret plan to destroy Chelsea, <laughs> what well, well, imagine became owners said like you can win every single game, but you can't beat Arsenal, otherwise your doctor weeks wages. Otherwise, otherwise, <laughs> one's getting wages for him a year. <laughs> yeah, if you no, you just get docked to the, the wages for that week. Like if you, if you, if I ain't paying you, if you're gonna win, if you're gonna win against Arsenal. <laughs> Fuck that! Or, or actually, you'll get only t you'll get ten million less in the transfer key. <laughs> Is Hamilton that rich, really? It's a, like he's the rich. He's football. he's one of the biggest, richest super uh, super uh, celeb uh, celebrities going, mate. How much is wow. he worth? Like worth. this is, but I remember how uh, 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 um, what boggles me. How is it for Stappen's only won one championship, which was helped out, by the way. Right, I don't care if I have to put the asterisks on it. I'm always going to, right, because it's disgusting uh, the way it was done. Um, so I'll just kind of put that on it. So, but look, look, how has he got the same amount of money and contract than Lewis Hamilton when Sebastian Vettel's won four titles, hasn't got that much money. Fernando's won two, hasn't got that much money. Makes no sense, you know. Yeah, and that was when, yeah. even when Vettel was at Ferrari, he didn't get that much money. 
right? When Vettel was more had more, more championships than Hamilton, right? With Hamilton three and Vettel four, he was the most one, the most the guy on the most grid with the most championships. Yet he still didn't get paid as much as Lewis Hamilton. Vettel goes fast as fuck. I mean, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense. Not at all, man. And apparently his net worth of Hamilton is two hundred eighteen British pounds. Two hundred eighteen. So, yeah, and he pays his tax by the way. <laughs> uh his net worth is 285 million dollars yeah his salary is 50 million dollars per year right we uh let me put max for stappen oh hamilton has said um Lewis Hamilton has confirmed his part in the Chelsea takeover bid and states he is a sporting fan above all else. Yeah, so it's a sporting fan or else. He's a, he's a, it's a sporting fan thing. So he's doing it to help the... Um... Yeah, it's, I mean, to make sure competition is still there, I guess. I can't show the stream, mate. If you don't like it, piss off. Why? Fuck you. Copyright, mate. Have you heard a little thing called copyright, right? Right? If I show you the stream, bro, my can my my YouTube channel gets cancelled for copyright. So get lost. Right? And if you can't watch and subscribe and also help support the cause that I'm doing, which uh, helps support children's liver disease foundation which is the little logo between the f1 and the rise logo as you see on the left hand side of your screen then or just below me then which helps save lives for really really sick ill children right which if you can't support that then i don't really want to know you to be honest Right, just stop. If you don't, if you don't like it and you want to hate, just go somewhere else. Fuck's sake! Don't want you, man. Don't get it with haters. They love to give yeah. it all this in the chat. They're like, the more you contribute, mate, the more you give it hate, the more you make me money <laughs> for for the uh, for the charity, and the more you give to the charity and help my cause. So, carry on. Oh, Mick, you didn't want to do that. Oh, you don't want to do that with these cars at the 3D floor going across the grass on the bumps. I'm having a lot of trouble in turn 12 for, of uh, turn 14, 15. Yeah, they've had a real trouble with that. And then obviously downhill towards Ravata. Yeah. Um, where you're having to, there's been a lock. And what they've struggled with most this season is when the cut tires, probably to something to do with the 18 inch rims. So when the car locks its tire, it's taken ages for the car to start, uh, for the tire to unlock and start gaining momentum again. Yeah. Which pundits have said it's due to the, um, due to the um, uh, inter inch rims, I believe. But Hamilton are on a new personal best. Um, the proposing doesn't, proposing doesn't seem that bad going into Rakhra Merali. Keep it off the white lines. All oh, using a bit of the curb, good sets a new five tenths fast in six to two these times are expected to come down good food they decent food bit of there. oversteer bit of oversteer but are you are you going uh where are you you five i'm on five minutes 15 as he goes into a raptor uh five twelve now five eleven five ten oh, okay you're literally just behind me so he's going to come across the line it will be going fast though on a 121.5, only seventh fastest though. Despite those, and let's see, that's that, that's what you call only little, oh. little minor upgrades so far. Mm. Um, hey, hey. They're dropping down already again. Don't think Shao will drop them even further. Oh, yellow flag, yellow flag, yellow flag. Sectors one and two. Yeah. Someone spun it, perhaps. Shell comes over the line. P5. Oh, a green flag. Yeah, I think someone has just spun it. 
Norris goes Norris. fastest. Norris goes fast. Yeah, and he goes the clear. Look, they're, they're, uh, they're, six tenths. Six tenths. Science speed too. Oh, lovely. Look at the oh, 15 thousands. Wow. Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Magnuson goes B6. Uh, big up everyone. Oh, big up this. Uh, big up everyone that is watching. Um, please do hit the like button and the share button as well. Obviously, people could be struggling watching this time. People's coming home from work, so yeah, that was Latifi, wasn't it? Is Latifi spinning off? I would have played the audio for you for the radio, but uh, we the, the spinning cartwheels. It's always Latifi. <laughs> Fucking Latifi, man, isn't it? For wow, the shower's it's looking good, man. The shower's looking really good. Yeah, the one time I couldn't... Well, the one time I needed him to keep it out of the barriers last season. <laughs> Prick. <laughs> Not that I'm bitter. Let's see if Bottas can get out of the elimination zone here. Yeah, see if Bottas can get... He had a problem at, at, right at the end of qualifying, stick it in the wall. Yeah. Uh, get beached in the, gra in the gravel at Aquaman Ali. Very easy mistake down there. Schumacher and Alonso also on laps right now. Don't tell me both Mercedes are going out in Q1. <laughs> Right, here comes Bottas, will improve, I think. Bottas into P9. Schumacher gets... Ooh, Schumacher only P14. Alonso goes P5. Go on. They need to improve here, Russell. Please do Alton. hit the like button and share button. If you could hit the share button for us, right, and share it on any social platform you've got, that'd be real. That'd be so helpful. It'd be unreal, right? As I said, we're nine away from our first hundred. So please do, if you nine away from our hundred on on YouTube. So please do hit that share button and get people to subscribe. It, it it does help support S Feetly TV's worthy cause of supporting Children's Liver Disease Foundation. Hamilton going for another fastest lap as he goes through this. Uh, I can't remember what they call that part now because they slowed yeah. that part down after 94 because that was where Ratzenberger went off. Um, Hamilton, coming the jet. yeah, coming down uh, to I can't remember what that one's called as well. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and eight, and then into nine and ten of Aqua Miller Ali. Right, looks decent, not nothing special, but fast enough to go attempt faster than his teammate, Sounds, right? Who's at uh, risk, and both Hamilton and both of them at risk. Oh, oversteer again. This is, this is the second the same as Saudi Arabia. Oh, do you know what? We're, yeah, let's not worry about the main problem with our car. Let's focus on the fucking airflow. <laughs> oh my life. Oh, for stuff. Honestly, I'm one. tempted to write another letter to him. He said, do me a favor. If you don't. B13, oh no. If, if, uh, by the way, like, I would love it to, uh, I'd love to meet Lewis Hamilton again. I right, to say thank you for being such an inspiration. But two, do me a favor. Sort the porpoise in out. <laughs> Oh, look at him bouncing, man. Jesus. It's the main problem with their car. Oh, my God. And Hamilton's 14. He's going Hamilton's out, isn't he? Oh, he's going to go out. Bottas is going faster as well. No. Bottas is, oh, Bottas is above no. Hamilton already. It doesn't oh, matter. Above Hamilton. Thank fuck. Thank fuck. <laughs> what's, what's, what's Mick Schumacher doing? What's Vettel doing? Schumacher can improve. Vettel can improve. Oh, Schumacher is here. Schumacher's going faster. Schumacher then himself. 
Vettel can go faster. Oh, Vettel's going oh, faster no. as well. Oh, we're fucked. You're we're fucked. fucked. I'm fucked. Mercedes just oh, was slow as going faster. If also. he goes out, I swear to God, I'm going to lose it. Yep, Hamilton 15th. Here comes Stop Vettel. It. He's out. Oh. Oh my. Oh! Rest is out also. Rest is out also. Oh, Hamilton is driving. Hamilton is driving. Hamilton is still driving. He's in. Jesus Christ. Why are we fucking around in the bottom half? Now Russell's just about improved. Just in the last second. Jesus Christ. But look, but look, the clerk. Now, I would expect it on a drying track, right? Because times are always going to improve on a drying track, right? Right? But the clerk's not even being troubled by any of them lot. Why are we struggling like this? But let's focus on other areas of the car. Fuck it. You know what? It's like they just don't want this anymore. If you don't think you're going to win the title next season, come out and say so. Invest in next season. What thousands? Jesus. But then again, you said in Monaco last season, we're investing in next season. And look what it's yeah. fucking done. You got fucking nowhere. Jesus Christ, the only thing that works on that fucking thing is the steering wheel. Every other part of that car is brand new, so it's fucking useless. It's like the power unit as well. How have we gone from the most from the world beating world beating dominating crushing fastest power and most reliable power unit? Right, that's probably been the best frigging engine and power unit since the Schumacher days with Ferrari, right? Of how reliable and good it was, right? But even that doesn't compare to it of how good it is. We've gone from that in the space of three months from that to one of the slowest. And when I fucked with that engine for three years. I'll give in. Anyways, mate, I really need to go now. I'm, I'll say the upgrades and all the things tomorrow during qualifying, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, if you if, if, um, yeah, if you're not, uh, uh, yeah, if you're free, uh, free tomorrow, do, do hop on, mate. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be free tomorrow. Just, they, like, if I don't oversleep. They say they need to mix it in at qualifying. I don't think they're going to mix it in anywhere, mate. So, mate, right? Fucking hell. Okay, oh, I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, see you tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye. So, yeah, please do hit the like button and subscribe button if you haven't already. It really is, uh, really does mean a lot if you can uh, do so. It does support the channel a great deal and also the charity. Yeah, this is mad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, this is mad. Fuck's sake. I don't know what's going on. What is going on with that Mercedes car? It literally looks like one of the worst cars on the grid. Thank fuck it's got someone like Hamilton behind the wheel. <sighs> fuck me.
Us also, I'd love to see actually. Mate, uh, 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 this is, it, I don't know what's going on. I literally don't know what's going on with this car. Just like Mercedes have got, obviously got their head shoved up their ass. They literally have got their head shoved up their ass. They must do. How the fuck can you have a, how the fuck can you dance around the actual problems with the car? It makes no sense, man. It's no sense anymore. Let me see if I can get this live timing back up. Oh, fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, man. Sessions just restarted again, so we're on let quality two now. Uh, yeah, quality two now. Oh, jeez. Right. So, uh, so far, science on a 189 has gone fast. Uh, no, it's three tenths off in second. Verstappen is gone fast. He's with a 187 now. Right, wait to see what the others can do 
at this time, but So Russell has gone 10th. I think both Mercedes are getting knocked out in Q2. Both Mercedes get knocked out in Q2. I'm, I, I, that's what I'm going for. Honestly. Oh! Who's that? It's Science. Science is in the wall. Science is in the wall. It's a red flag. After doing a 189 he's stuck it in the barriers that's not good if he wants to be challenging leclerc for this title don't forget ferrari do have a tendency to pick the driver that will go for the title right at an early stage of the season to maximize their chances so at the moment it's a free for all for both leclerc and the stat uh, science but the clerk the way leclerc is performing right now science is not been able to match him and on the time that he's just signed a new extension this is the last thing he needed to stick it in the wall eugene bro how you doing man uh, not too well actually my car broke down so now i'm waiting for the mechanic to come over to try oh, to fix it so uh, no worries man do you have to uh, wear the mask or yeah i have to uh, i'm sitting yeah, out okay, good yeah that's what it is Oh, it's better than some people. Uh, it's better than like there were some rules in this country because officially you're not allowed to, but it is advised. So most people just don't bother. Uh, we're Which in we? Malaysia, so we we in Malaysia we have to follow the rules, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, good. And well, at least Malaysia got half sensible. Yeah. And yeah. he's look at this. Science has gone in at turn first with that, so turned in again. We've been on the white line, spun it, and bang, straight oh, into yeah. the barriers. Out. Oh. He is out. He is so, out, out, so, out. So this is free practice two or one? This is this is this is this is free practice. Hang on, this hang on a minute. This one. is free. Uh free no, it's not. This is qualifying. Oh yeah, because tomorrow it's qualifying. The it's the new call. It's the it's oh, the sprint, sprint race. race. It's tomorrow sprint race. Yeah, are you free for that tomorrow? Uh, I, I should be three thirty. Three thirty all time now. Nah. Ten thirty depends. It depends. All right, most probably I'll be driving back <laughs> after work if the car is still there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, but let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Oh no, oh, today's qualifying. I keep forgetting. Yeah, because this is the one of the this is one of the three sprint races that we have. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Red flag? Uh, yeah, it's a red flag at the minute. So they're just going to clear, um, what's his face? Uh, science. Uh, science, science's car away for now. So this is this is Q, Q1 or Q2 or Q3? This is Q2. And Mercedes Q2. have already just made it for Q1. Oh dear. Though they're supposed to bring upgrades, it's only very little like airflow adaptions to the car. Uh, they they, they well, still can't solve not... their purposing problem. Yeah. They haven't solved it. They've decided. Mm, they decided to just go on with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh They've decided so... we're going to. Um... Just carry on with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So who's leading now? Who had the first Q1? Who was first in Q1? Second, third. Who was fastest, uh, fastest in Q1? I think it was... Um, I'm not too sure, but the, the, the people who knocked out um, was... Uh, was it in the end? The, 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 uh, Albon had to go out early. I know that for sure. Because uh, he had a, a a blowout and his um rear brakes his rear brakes caught fire. Oh yeah. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. All right. So, who's the fastest now in this qualifying? It's, it finds his fastest now, but it won't be for much longer because okay. obviously it's a drying circuit. Okay. 
Where's where, where's Leclerc and Verstappen? Oh, oh. Uh, Verstappen second, Leclerc third. So like pretty oh. much there, really. All right, the sandwich. All right. So what, what about what about Perez? Uh, Perez, uh, I don't think has uh, set a lap time yet. Need to be in the scoreboard. I would as you have it on the live timing, but my live timing's not fucking working. No, Perez right. is fourth. No, Perez is fourth. Norris right. is third, and Leclerc is fifth. Norris is third. Okay, the Leclerc is yeah, good. But it's it's a drying track, so it will it will dry out. Oh, it's wet at the moment. Yeah, it's a drying circuit. It's it's just it. They just started using the dry tire, mm. but actually, speaking of which, more bodies are being put up. All right. The wet the weather is supposed to be wet this weekend. Oh, it's supposed to be oh. wet this today, dry tomorrow, wet Sunday. Oh, that's interesting. This will be very interesting. Right. Uh and for more info on that, please do check out the community tab on S V D T V. We do put all the posts for the S V D F one channel on there. Mm. But uh, like you say, right? So now it's red flag. How many minutes before the next next? Um, next will start? Uh, it's it will start at five fifty, which will be three minutes time. Three minutes time. Well, that's not a long one. That's not a long red flag, right? No, it's just whenever they can get the car clear. Yeah. How much time do they still have in the qualifying? Oh, uh, they have ten minutes forty two. Oh, they just started Q two. Yeah, they only just started. Yeah. Okay, sign special for Ferrari. So, so I guess he'll be out, right? So I think he'll be most probably tenth in the sprint race. He'll so probably, yeah, he'll probably be tenth in the sprint race, but very yeah. money hasn't damaged anything. Yeah. So let's see what happens there. Ten in the sprint race. Right. Mm. Oh, you guys beat Chelsea, haha. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so what? That doesn't mean we're. That's a different. It's a different stream, mate. We'll talk about it afterwards. Yeah, all right. No, how have you been doing, bro? Been okay, or you been? Uh, I would be okay if I was allowed to have the energy to do all my streams that I was planning I for know, this right. channel yeah. and my other channel, but the doctors have screwed me up. Why? They're not letting because you do they anything. don't fucking listen. What do you mean they don't listen? Uh, they like to think they know better. Uh, yeah, but you it's, it's whether it. talking to no, whether it's talking to people who have actually experienced this problem before, mm -hmm. like me. Right. right. Are you are you still feeling tired all the time or what? Yeah, because they've let me lower my levels to the point where I am a endemic and feeling tired all the time. Whereas they yeah. actually fucking did what they were supposed to do and listened, we wouldn't be in this problem. Okay. All right, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe a doctor's. Uh, let's see. Maybe, uh, maybe they can solve the problem for you. All right. Mm -hmm. So, is it started yet? No, not yet. Has the clock started yet? You think it was 10? Um, no, it hasn't. That's why I said the session ain't started yet. Oh, that's weird. All right, it's gone all dark now. So, uh, I need to find somewhere some light. Hold on. Uh, I'm yeah, to get some light, mate. Still at my workplace. All right, so it's a shopping center. So the lights are all going dim now. Uh, I hope they really don't close the bloody car park and I can't get it out. Right. 
Right, should be starting green light now. Pit lane is open now. Should be a queue of cars coming out now. Right. So, yeah, green light in a minute. We're still waiting. Uh, he's gone off for a minute. Hopefully, he'll be back in a minute or two. Uh, the green light is still going, so uh, no one coming out really because it's getting wetter. So yeah, the the rains come in, so whatever. So that means Hamilton's out. Hamilton and Russell will be out of this qualifying session. Because they didn't go quick enough. Yeah, so they're out of this session. Great. Fucking brilliant. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, Mercedes. Your upgrades have really helped. Your upgrades have really fucking helped this issue, ain't they? Right. Really helped. I'm sorry. What an outrage. I'm pissed. I'm fucking pissed off. Right, finally got it back. Sorry about that. That's sorry, green light now on, but yeah, I doubt that's going to change and bring anyone out now because that's our out. That's now the end of the session. We might as well end the session now. There's no point bringing them out because they're out. And there you go. Ha Hamilton with a 121 1 and Russell with a 127 because of their problems they are stuck with a hassle schumacher behind a, a aston martin of vettel an alpine a, a Hass, who though with less money less investment ha, right not as big are now behind them bottas ahead of 
both of them. A guy that was supposed to be far behind them towards the back of the grid at the start of this season. Why? Because we're still going to invest in, in upgrades that got a fuck all to do with the main problem of this car, which everyone has said has been the porpoising bouncing up and down like a fucking trampoline. To the point it makes the car unstable. But no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that at all. Right? Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Right? I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Right? When are they going to wake up and actually fight for this championship? When are they going to fight for this championship, man? Fight. Get some upgrades that will make a difference. Stop with the little tiny upgrades here and there. Get some investment on this car. Or admit you're not going to do it this season and save it for next season. It's the same with your power unit. Your power unit that you have decided to just, I don't know, we've decided our power unit. Um, how do we put this? Yeah, our power... Our power unit, the world beating best power unit on the grid that was the peak of all the F1 technology, right, in reliability and power, has now gone from that to one of the fucking slowest and probably one of the uh, unreliable ones. How? How? Right? What the fuck have you been doing all winter? And what the hell are you doing now to put it right? Absolutely fuck all. At least the Claire's putting a fight up to Max Verstappen. Right? Because, tell you what, Max Verstappen ain't going to keep his title the way they're going. Because Ferrari are going to have it. And they could have it in the season after as well. Unless you lot, who say you are going to fight for this championship, get a fucking grip. Get a grip. If you want to be nine times consecutive champions, you want to give Hamilton your eighth title, you want to be better, right? Then please, please, right? Get some upgrades on this goddamn car. I, Vettel's now leaving the pits. I don't know why he's leaving the pits. He's on intermediate. I think he's probably just getting his eye in for the uh, for Q3 because he's going to be into Q3 come the start of the next session. So he's obviously getting his eye in to see what the where the grip is. Very intelligent move, actually. But that's that's the intelligence of what a four-time champion will give you. That's the intelligence of a champion will give you, or a four-time world champion will give you. Right? There you go. Hamilton's out the car. They're, un the, the uh, they're, they're breaking away the uh, panels for the back of the car. He's out. So is Russell. Well done. Right. What a fucking waste of time. You might as well have spent all our money last season. Because if you did, we would have won it. You would have won Hamilton. Hamilton would have won it at a cruise. If you had saved, the, if you had spent the money that you had apparently saved for, like, for this season and put more upgrades on the car last season, we would have been more competitive in France, more competitive in Spain, more uh, 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 sorry, in Austria, more competitive in America, more competitive in Mexico. We would have won it at a cruise. More, more better in... Uh, I'm sorry. Right? It's dis disgusting what they've done. My, he's not... Hamilton is not a thing of the past. Right? What are you supposed to do when you've got a car, right, that is so badly designed, then how uh, than this car, right? And if anyone could pull a victory out of a shit car, it's Lewis Hamilton. It is Lewis Hamilton. If anyone could pick could pick out a performance out of a crap car, it is Lewis Hamilton, right? Don't ever write him off, whatever you do, at your peril. And i tell you for why. 2009, that car 
should have been scrapped and they should have built a new one halfway through the season to give him a fighting chance after he became champion of the season before. He's still got two race wins out of it. 2013, Mercedes shouldn't have been near the uh, uh, the front of the grid because the Red Bull were that dominant. Still got a race victory out of it. So if anyone could get a victory out of this thing, right, it is Lewis Hamilton. If you can't, if, if I'm sorry, no one there on that grid is better capable of getting a performance out of a crap car than the guy uh, than the guy who's won seven times uh, 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 as a champion. Simple as that. That's why he's the greatest. It's one of the reasons why he's the greatest, right? And I fucking hate people that fucking ring him off because saying it's the car, the car saying it's all about the car is a flawed statement. It's a flawed statement because you need a quick car. You need a fast, competitive car that's equal to your rivals to be able to challenge for the championship. If you don't, then you're not good enough. That if the car if the car isn't, it's like fighting with two arms behind tied behind your back, right? Sorry, right. Hamilton, the start of last season, was four tenths per lap slower than the Red Bulls. Still won that Grand Prix in Bahrain. And they were very happy, very. Right, but for the most part, he's always, he's always had. Yeah, I understand that, mate. But what also, what do, do what, the one thing, uh, and. I love having these debates, but the one thing that also helped uh, Schumacher in the past and Senna in the past was their ability to drive the car and have that mental capacity to go to their engineer and see where they've got their problems, right? Um, um, You see... Some drivers can only just drive the car fast, but they can't tell you where to improve the car. Hamilton's been able to do that and gradually find performance out of out of the car and find every single bit of it and help develop the car further. 2018 Singapore, for example, they were nowhere until qualifying. He pulled one of the best laps ever, right? When they were supposed to be fifth or sixth because he had spent all weekend trying to fine-tune the car and get the best out of it. Same as, and then that followed into the next uh, uh, street race, which was Monaco, where all the season before they were fifth, sixth. Uh, the season before, had the, well, he was third the season before, but struggling with eating the tires. Uh, the season before that, he was 14th because he couldn't get the tires in temperature and he was struggling. But the 2019. Though it was still the, one of the long, long wheel, though it was still the long wheel based car, which doesn't suit Monaco, right? He still managed to beat the the much more suitable to Monaco Red Bulls in 2019, right? And also the the idea is to turn negatives like losing louder before that Grand Prix, like um, the passing of um, the. Uh, the actor who played the the Black Panther, um, uh, uh, Chadwick Bosman, um, uh, that standing up for diversity, he's always been able to channel all these negatives into his racing to be, make himself even better. All the, the the flack he was getting for missing F1 Live in 2017 in London promoted it and then dominated that whole weekend, saying that's what he needed to prepare for that weekend and then that weekend he destroyed the field and those same people that were slagging him off by in london and on social media were then at, at grand prix cheering him on right yes he's always had a competitive car right but don't forget his first season right and his second his second season ferrari were well, the constructors champions not uh, not McRae, won the championship, but it was Mercedes who, uh, it was Ferrari who were the champions, not McLaren, 
but the first season he was going against like probably one of the best of the great of the greatest drivers of on the planet on on in f1 it's a greatest of sport right and the current champion at the time fernando alonso and fernando alonso decided to stitch him up in qualifying because he didn't like this young pretender showing him up and he proper showed him up and actually finished behind him in the championship behind him by one point which if it weren't for McLaren's reliability unreliability on in bar in in brazil it would have been hamilton's championship and we'd be talking about an eight-time world champion it's the same with schumacher schumacher had a decent car uh, had a decent jordan which he could show his skills then in second then in second seat so then as soon as he jumped into the benetton it was a podium winning car but not race winning and the season later he won a grand prix which when he shouldn't have because he should have been miles behind the 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 the, the all-powerful um williams with its all its active suspension and crap and then two seasons later when they took all those extensions away all of a sudden benetton were then dominant and then he'd done it in 95 and then he built up uh mr ferrari right sometimes the for our, our drivers are link in a very very long chain right we put these drivers at a pedestal but they're just a link to what goes on behind the scenes and these what goes on behind the scenes should be applauded because a lot of these people that put so much hours into building these cars they get don't get heard right and that's the one thing he always bigs up he always bigs up the team right about it and he always makes sure that he says i'm just part of this group of people that bit build these cars right but his feedback is essential to help develop the car to the way he wants it otherwise he ain't gonna be able to perform you see vettel like um was helped develop the red bull into the dominance he was when he won his four titles right and then the next season he couldn't get adapt to the new system with the new brake by wire systems, the power unit, and everything, and he lost all his confidence because of it. So, like the way so some some drivers have that natural capacity and talent to be able to f tell their engineers what the problems of the car was, right? And that's what a lot of new drivers find out when they jump into F one. All of a sudden, yeah, getting engineers constantly asking them with feedback asking for feedback asking for feedback something you don't get in f2 because all the cars are the same right and the thing is if you watch his categories going up for the categories dominated f3 dominated f2 turkey 2006 is the first time i watched hamilton and i immediately became a fan and i knew he was going to be doing great things in the sport by just watching that race spun at the foot on the first lap recovered to second third i believe it was in that gp2 race i believe it was um turkey uh f uh gp2 2006 i believe um Hamilton finished, he qualified fifth and he finished second in the race after spinning out on the first lap. Right, and it's what convinced it, what also it convinced uh, Ron Dennis to who had invested, don't forget, Ron Dennis invested in him at a very, uh, it's an Arsenal one, mate, Burkamp um i'm like hamilton as an uh, arsenal fan but yeah like uh that's going to uh not everyone can adapt to the changes that's going to separate the rest from the greats that's the thing mate and uh plus also if you want to find any more updates mate or when we're going live and anything like that do check out sfeetly tv on youtube um which is based space is spelt the same but with tv on the end not f1 um where we 
put all the posts for this channel on there because it's a monetized channel on the community tab plus the channel helps support its charitable cause for that uh, for that other channel right plus um you can yeah plus there's loads more there's loads more content we want to create it's when i'm feeling well enough to do so um so and it will help us try and get uh, if you can boost the channel on facebook as well as subscribe uh, help us boost the youtube channel it really would help because we're trying to reach our first hundred on there and i really want to get to that first hundred hopefully by the end of this weekend so uh, it really would be a lot to us and like i said man you can treat it in wherever man um because we'll be live no matter what on facebook twitter uh twitch and youtube uh but youtube's usually the main one but yeah you but um Uh, the session has started for Q3. So Q3 session has started. Um, so science will... Oh, slap for yellow flag in sector two. Oh, it's the Hass. It's the Hass of Magnuson. He's stuck in the wall. Will he be able to get it out? Can he get that car out? Will it be a red flag? We're going to see it's a red flag situation. He is moving the car, so I think he will be able to recover. He might need to do it very, very carefully, though, because he could easily get beached. Uh, so this is SV, This is my main channel, which does football and Arsenal content. So if you're a football fan, uh, not just an Arsenal fan, but you can go on this one. So that's SFeetly TV. And, uh, and you can also follow us on Twitter um, uh, with that, but as the uh, Twitter uh, handle. So, and then you can find... Uh, this one is Feetly F1. Or, um, yeah, there you go. Look, sorry, just put it there. And what it does, it, it the money we it's a monetized channel, and the money, as you can see, as I say, that all the money made from monetization. It goes to the charity yes, uh, it goes to the charity Children's Liver Disease Foundation. Where since we restarted the channel back in 2020, we've raised two thousand pounds now, uh, and we raise money every time we get uh, our threshold payment of 60, 60 pounds, which usually takes a few months to to make. Um, so, but. Yeah, it's doing well. It's doing well. And we're on 1.18k and we want to get to uh, 1.2k some uh, by like the end of this month, uh, if we could. So if you could promote that one as well, that'd be great. That'd be great help. That'd be such a great help. Um, plus also, like, let us know what you put in the YouTube chat, what your Twitter handle is. And uh, uh, you can follow us on Twitter. Uh, which is at S Feetly TV or our F or for this channel at S Feetly F1 is our money 
is our Twitter uh, is our Twitter and Instagram uh, handles uh, accounts. So yeah, you can follow us on either one of those. Uh, just put it in the chat, and I'll find you on Twitter and Insta. Then you can know whenever we're alive. And also, if you ever want to come on, you're more than welcome to, man. Do you know what? Actually, I should just put that in the chat anyway. Just put that in the chat anyway. At least for the last ten minutes or so. Uh, so eighty. So two minutes from now, will the session will restart? Yeah, it's nice, man. We're we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Uh, some. Uh, what you'll find is is if you're subscribed to this channel, there may be times where I miss streams, and that's because as it raises money for children's liver disease. I have liver disease myself, and quite recently I've had to miss a few, a fair few streams because I've not been well enough. So there may be times where I miss streams because I'm not well, but we try and do as much as we can um, with uh, the health that I have to do. So just yeah, I always put that just little, just a little tag in just to uh, bear with us because it's it really pisses me off when i have to hear that but when i have to do that but it, it, it sometimes you can't help it uh green light is about to go on so fernando alonso waiting at the edge of the pit lane i don't know why he's sitting there for a long time because Losing tire temps in the intermediates is not really what you want. And session will restart any minute. There's a bunch of Fernando Alonso fans. One thing that's great about Alonso, he's really helped the uh, F1 like uh spanish market he really has got the spaniards really into f1 now because they've never had an f1 champion uh from spain so it's great that they've done that and plus science now as well being in and it's gone green now and plus now you've got also so it's yeah man for the tiktok i haven't i haven't conquered <laughs> shall we say i haven't tried yet um, um but i made do it to do short videos uh, in terms of let's and new uh let's let's news but like i said i appreciate everyone watching man and um that way look you can also find us on youtube and also f1 as well um and the thing is as well, the way the algorithm works on YouTube, the more people that watch your channel, the more sort of like aware people get as well of your channel. So um Jesus Christ. So, uh, who did a did anyone do a fastest lap? No, they didn't. They didn't get a time to. So, um, so there we go. Little slide on the way out of there, but he's back on the power as he powers down the start, finish straight, going past what was the first, the last two chicanes. Every time I think of Alonso and Imola, I think of that battle between Schumacher and Alonso in 2005 and 2006. Right. 2005, it was pretty much the only race where we saw like, the Ferraris actually challenge Renault, to be honest, because the rest of the season they couldn't challenge them because they had two durable tyres. They weren't like, the, the more durable your tyres are, the more slower they are, but they carried a more durable tyre that would last the whole race 
weekend and qualifying, which is what they were told to do in the regulations. But Michelin, we all found out, thanks to USA, uh, in the US Grand Prix in particular, couldn't do the whole fucking race, which meant only six cars started, which is too far away. Oh, and he's mucked up turn. The Aquaman Ali caught the white car lines. Come on, uh, Alonso, you're better than that. You should be better than that, mate. But, uh, yeah, mate. Um, like I said, if anyone wants to come on, the link is in the chat. So if anyone wants to come on, have their say, want to join in the action, everyone's more than welcome to. That's what I love to do. I love to try and get everyone's opinion. So Magnuson coming through, and he's going to start his flying lap. Uh, don't forget, it's on S Feetly TV, I will be live at 7 p.m. Uh, with my Arsenal Man United preview. Then I will be doing a watch along to the game at 12 at 12 p.m. Then I will be live uh, for sprint qualifying or the sprint race, as we call it. And then I will be live. Uh, then I'll be live for the actual match reaction for the game. And then Vettel goes to 131.10. Leclerc. Let's go, Leclerc. Let's come around to Le Revats. Come around, Revats, and now. One twenty-eight seven. Verstappen only doing personal best right now. Fast enough for one set. Oh, look at that. Two hundreds off Leclerc. It's a battle between the two of them for pole, right? I don't think, right, unless it's going to take a wonder lap from Norris or Ricardo, I don't think, and most likely Norris, I don't think they're going to challenge them. But let's have a look. Norris coming around sector two is three tenths better than the club. Three tenths better in his second sector and his personal best, but not that. It was only a few tenths off in sector two, right? It's really on for pole between Max and Leclerc, another rivalry here. This is the rivalry of the future, to be honest. And like, what's sad is that Hamilton has got a car that will challenge them at the minute. I, I'd love to see the two of them have a proper battle with a similar paced car. Like, I think if Mercedes, if Mercedes get their act together and get the car, which they have done before, they did it last season, they did it in 2018 as well, and... Uh, uh, when they were performing badly. If they can do it, they can get a car. And he's had to back off. He's had to have backed off. He's had to have backed off. Has he done it again? He's done it again. He's gone fastest. He's gone fastest in a fucking yellow flag. When is he going to learn? He's buried in the barriers. Red flag. Now, I'm sorry. Will someone actually punish him? I'm sorry now. I'm getting fucked off for this every fucking time. He's done it in uh, Mexico 2019. He did it in... He only did it last season in Qatar. And now he's done it again in Imola. Verstappen goes flat out... In a fucking yellow flag zone. If double wave yellows means slow down and be prepared to stop. Not be able to slow down a little bit, but still go faster than your fucking rivals. And not just faster, eight fucking tenths. I'm sorry, you do it three times, you should be booked to race ban. If you do it three times in your career, a booked to race ban. I'm sorry. Bullshit. I'm fed up with him doing it. This is his attitude towards safety standards in Formula One, which makes him a danger. Well, he proved that in fucking Italy, didn't he? He didn't care if he took out Hamilton, as long as he stopped him getting in front. Right? He just made sure he relied on the halo, because he knew the halo was there. But he still freaking gave Hamilton a trip to the freaking um, chiropractor. To sort his neck out. Agreed. 
I'm sorry. This is what pisses me off about him. Right? 2019, Mexico. I literally will comment you on this. Right? I will literally say this to you. All right? Um, let me find it on YouTube. Um, I don't know if I can find it. Qualifying. Um, let me have a look. Let me have a look. I can't find it because it's so long ago. No, can't can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. Right? Uh, it's Q3, mate. We're in final qualifying. Um, right. We've got two and a half, uh, 58, two minutes 58. To, and this is also a problem. Right? It's not... Do you know what? It gets to a point. I don't even blame him half the time. It doesn't fucking surprise me when you've got a cunt called Christian Horner. I'm sorry. I called him that. He is a prick. He is a hypocritical, arrogant prick right unhumble little prick like this what he said are uh, like at the start start of um this drive to survive like this right at the end of last season hamilton's giving his seven times world champion speech and he is he's saying oh man enough of listening to this shit right right are we done listening to this i'm like excuse me it's a massive achievement but have respect for the guy right just because you couldn't produce a car that was fast enough to challenge him, right? Sorry, but um, not not so much him. You've got him mothering frigging for uh, uh, Max along with his dad all the time, saying like, even when it was proven Hamilton was brake tested by Verstappen in Saudi Arabia, he was proven brake test, and he still said it was Hamilton's fault. How is it his fault? If you, yeah, he might have had space on the left hand side, but if the guy in front of you is just all of a sudden in the middle of the road started slowing down and then he's twitching left and right, and I'm like, well, what are you doing? What are you doing? Right? And plus, it's Max Verstappen. Of course, you're going to take precaution. We know what the guy is like because of his previous record, right? Hamilton run off the road in Brazil. Oh, it's a racing incident. If it was Hamilton, he's supposed to be booked. Like, I'm sorry, like, but not just that, but the fact is, is that um, Verstappen, because of that, Verstappen just doesn't learn. He's built up this fucking ego that everyone is out to get me and everyone's wrong except me. I'm the one that's right, no one else. Even though the rules say you've got to slow down in your flag zone, oh, no, it's me. I can do what I want. 
that's basically the attitude he's built up in this guy. That's the attitude he has built up in Max Verstappen. Everyone else is wrong. You're, you're right. And that's even to the FIA. Right? You break test someone. I'm sorry. The only reason he wasn't he wasn't banned for that race or the next race is for one simple reason. Right? Oh, sorry, I've got to connect to my... I know what I was playing up now. Fuck, say I had the wrong camera in. That's bad. It should get me an HD now, for fuck's sake. I can't believe I fucked that up. Right, but this is the problem. I, I, I've had for him from the start. Right, but then it's got worse because he's got a guy that... Even when he's clearly broken the rules, and I'm sorry, a brake test. If you brake test someone, you do it in the road, you get docked, you get banned from driving. So he should have a one race ban. But the reason he wasn't banned is because it's the second to last race. And if Hamilton gets the same, gets seven, uh, seven, eight points, by the way, which is what he got, we will have a like. Winner takes all, zero points. Winner takes all, grand finale. If it was the first two races in the season, he'd be banned for a race. Well, at least 10 places dropped off the grid. But to be honest, if you break test someone, I'm sorry, that's dangerous driving. That's dangerous driving on a fully live racetrack. I'm sorry, that deserves a race ban. Right? And if anyone disagrees with me, Right, then you really, really, really you've got serious issues about safety in Formula One. I'm sorry, you don't you don't fuck around with yellow flags. Right. If you I honestly say if you do it three times in a row, if you do it three times in your career, you should be seriously, severely punished for doing it. These drivers might sometimes get away with murder. And Max Verstappen is definitely one of them. He should be fucking... Yeah, I do. Trust me. It was the mother of all... It was the mother of all... Um... Uh, it wasn't when I started this channel. It was on the other channel, SVT TV. Uh, I'll find the link for you, mate. Um... I'll send you the link. It is the mother of all, uh, like, meltdowns, right? You've seen meltdowns, and you've seen meltdowns. I was so pissed off with that. It was unreal. Like, so bad that someone just clipped it. Someone just clipped it. And I don't think I've clipped, like, the whole 10 minutes of it, because I literally was fuming for 10 minutes straight. Um... I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe someone would do that. Like, I, just, I really couldn't. I think it was an absolute farce and a joke. An absolute joke. There you go. I'll put the link in. You can watch that later. You can watch that later, mate. It's fixed. It was fixed, mate. If it was the other way around, they would have done the same thing. Right? It wasn't just... I'm not fi saying it's fixed because of Ham it was against Hamilton. Right? If it was the other way around, I would have not been happy. I would have like, I would have not have celebrated that. To be honest, mate. T Tony, to be honest... People might think I would have celebrated if it was the other way around and Hamilton had claimed it like that. I wouldn't have celebrated. I would have said that's sick. That no, that's wrong. For sporting, for sporting, in sporting terms, it is wrong. They broke their own regulations to get the ending they wanted because they want the money. 
they want the money they want the, the the views they want the clicks right they want the views the clicks the money i'm sorry if i was a hamilton fan it was the other way around i would not have celebrated it one bit i went that's fixed i'm sorry that was fixed to get the ending they wanted my right? that's dis disgraceful it's disgraceful for formula one and i'm that bastard man massey didn't know what it was doing from the minute he stepped in right he should have just admitted it right and admitted he needs some help rather than try and manage a whole championship battle because italy max got what hardly a penalty got a penalty that he managed to void none avoided in russia by taking an engine penalty himself so he never got technically never got a penalty right silverstone racing incident but hamilton deserved the penalty because he was the one who he was staying in the race i am the same way that's it's racing man it's sporting time sporting i'm i look i don't mind losing champions i'm a hamilton fan and i don't mind losing championships to like but if if, if i was hamilton i would like no it's not right it's not right but there's some people i know where who do the old watch alongs like like they were jumping for joy taking the piss like because they got the ending they wanted right well if that's very shallow of you the fact you happily bend the bend the rules and then then lean what i don't like is these people these max verstappen fans on twitter i have respect for any max verstappen fan saying that was wrong right anyone that says oh yeah yeah it was perfectly legit all right and it was well like it like it was definitely legit don't forget i think max verstappen deserved it overall to be honest we had more wins and everything like that but on the day hamilton had won it hamilton had won it on the day level one point he had won it and to be honest you could also say if he's level one points with hamilton uh, verstappen at the end of the season then that's all fair love and war like that they, they, they both deserve it so like he he deserved it on that night because he had for 37 laps for 57 laps have won the race had might dominated how the red bull couldn't get near him no matter what he did right and they they twisted it to get what they wanted and people saying mercedes should have picked well he couldn't pick the red session has restarted but mercedes couldn't pick could they how could they pick how could they pick they could pick we would have lost track position and then if they played to the end they would look like mugs the biggest mugs in f1 but you know what i mean i'm sorry like people like any any match for stuff fan i see on twitter that says that's perfectly legit right you're not a proper f1 fan in my opinion because you don't up, uphold the real values and the, the the sporting regulations of the sport you're not a sporting fan it's not a sport you're not a sports fan in sport you have rules and you should not an organization that runs the sport should not be breaking their own rules to get what they want right people saying that as good as this 2008 the way that ended no what was great back 2008 is because it was natural with the weather right you didn't know who was going to do it in until the last corner right that was natural because it wasn't it wasn't fixed it was created created right by the fia right that was just luck that's what made it real that's sport that wasn't anyway for stappen the beneficiary of it all right out for horner saying that at, in talk sport he made the right call and he definitely deserved not to go michael massey that just shows what an arrogant hypocritical right selfish prick that guy is right I'm sorry. So you're gonna you're gonna change the rules just to benefit two drivers for to to benefit your own show to to oh no now noise it's gone off 
Nice is off. And that is the end of qualifying. Max is on pole. Max is on pole. He's done it. What's your problem, bro? Talk to me. Talk to me, bro. What's up, man? Like, come on, man. What's your problem, bro? If you ain't got, like, if you got a problem, say something, man. Chill out, bro. Right? Links in the, 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 in the chat, bro. Come and talk to us. If you come here just to spread hate, though, right, then go fuck yourself. Right? What's the problem, bro? You're not getting enough attention in your life. Oh, strange. Just, just, just like, like, someone's not got enough. Someone not got enough attention in his life, so he's got to be a toxic fan, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got to be a, he's got to be a toxic hater, mate. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. You're helping me out, bro. So, well done, bro. Like, chill out, bro, man. Just a little paving knife. Instead of take, instead of being a hater, right? Because your life ain't going nowhere. Why don't you try and be a bit more like? Why don't you actually try and do something to better with your life rather than being a hater and hating on everyone else because they're doing better than you, right? Why don't you try? Why don't you try that? You might find yourself you actually improve. You know, but yeah. The session has been stopped. It's the end of qualifying. It's 38 seconds left on the clock. So there we are. That's the end of qualifying. I don't know why they're going to play the eight. They could stay. They're going to resume in 38 seconds. But no one's going to come out. So the, 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 no one's going to be able to resume the race. So they might as well call it. Oh, what have they done now? Oh, I downloaded it without the fucking... Uh, without doing the transparent background. <laughs> Dick. I'm such a dick when I do that. Right, give me a sec. I'll just prepare it. No, I mean, you got a lot of people when they do that. They're just, they're just here to... So, how are the positions? Yes, I'll give you that in just a sec. Once I just upload this quick banner. There you go. There's that banner. So, the positions as we see... For the sprint race tomorrow at um, half three, I believe it is. When's the actual schedule for this, uh, the actual race itself? It's, yeah, half three. So we'll be live at three, we'll be at live at three, either quarter past three or three o'clock. I think quarter past three because we've got the football, which literally finishes around quarter to two. And that's a quarter past quarter past three will be live for the sprint race. Uh, uh, so you can see there, that's the sprint race. Uh, let me go back. If we go to live timing, Max Verstappen is on pole position for tomorrow's sprint race. Though it counts as a uh, pole position for the Grand Prix, as a Grand Prix pole position, it's a, sprint, it's a pole position for the sprint race. Right, they don't count the sprint race pole position, uh, uh, the sprint race first place as the pole as pole position, right on the records. But if you can work it, if you can work that one out. But yeah, Max Verstappen with a one twenty seven nine. Now I'm sorry, that should be stock off. That should be me. I would be straight to Ferrari protesting because he has set his fastest. Let me hear what he's got to say. Let me hear what he's got to say. I'm just listening to what he's saying right now. The class second, Norris third, Magnus of fourth, Lonzo fifth, Ricardo sixth, Perez seventh, Bottas eighth, Vettel ninth, Science tenth. The the rest of the top ten: Russell, Schumacher, Hamilton, Joe, Joel, Sonoda, Gasly, Latifi, Albon, and. Ocon and then Albon dead last. Why aren't you pulling him up about the qualifying lap? 
It was done on the yellow flags, man. Be a fucking proper interviewer and pull him up on it, man. Stop dodging around it and being fucking uncontroversial. Uncontroversial. Why Ferrari will be? I'm sure that I'm sorry. Ferrari should be launching a protest. I do. I'll be very surprised if he keeps that pole position. I will be extremely. If he keeps that pole position, then I'm sorry. I'm calling it out. FIA, you're breaking the fucking rules again. I'm. Oh, look, look her speaking in Italiano. Italiano, we did you that need to do that? I thought the drama in the Idino Ferrari, but we cannot do it today. But I'll make sure we have plenty of pasta tonight and a good mama's pizza so we can perform them on the racetrack. Why can't man? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, but those are the those are the positions provisionally. Don't expect that pole position to stay. If that stays, I'm calling it as it is. Right? The FIA got no balls, and it, the FIA hasn't changed. The FIA has. I'll just say as it is. The FIA hasn't changed, man. I got kicked uh, and I got kicked and lost and lost your link to your reaction of last year's lap. Can you? Right, I'll send it again. I'll send it again. Uh, it, the, the link's also there to come on. If you want to come on and have your say before the session, before we stop the show, come on and have your say because I'll be going in about five minutes. Uh, so, yeah, there's the link. So there's there's the link, and then there's also the link to come on if you want to come on. You're the real MVP. MVP. Uh, what was that? Uh, yeah, do, do, yeah, do, 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 I'm, I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, yeah, just let us know uh, what that means before I go because I don't know. I don't know exactly what that means, to be honest, mate. But very, yeah, very challenging conditions. Five red flags, but most valuable player. Uh, thanks, man. I really appreciate that, man. Um, I try my best, right? But we will bring the sprint qualifying tomorrow. Yeah, the sprint race is uh two, like I said, three fifteen. We go live with the sprint race, and half three, we are live for the actual. For, and then obviously 3 30 is the app is when the race starts then tomorrow we will be live tomorrow uh to, to tomorrow on s feet f1 with the race uh with the race at two o'clock so we'll be live at half one giving you a half an hour build up to the to the grand prix itself gonna go uh, great stream keep it up big up bro um like i said you've got us on youtube you've got us there on twitch YouTube, if you can help us on YouTube and help boost our YouTube, it'd be really great as well. But thanks, thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, like I said to everyone else, big up to everyone that's tuned in. Uh, really do appreciate the love and support. If you haven't watched it, do go back and watch it. It's a very interesting session as it goes through. But yeah, we got loads of uh, action also on SVT TV coming up. We've got the preview coming up at 7 p.m., which is just over an hour. Then we've got yeah, then we've got this, that, 
Uh, then we've got the actual game tomorrow at 12 p.m. So make sure you all tune in for that. But until then, stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you.